Hi, um, it's me again. Um, in this video, we're gonna move on with the um, the training. Uh, here we create a new um, uh, Coolab notebook. Let's name it uh, two dash Cvolt dash training. Um, so basically, we're gonna uh, set up an object detection environment using TensorFlow in Google Colab. And I'll be walking you through the necessary steps and explaining each um, code block along the way. Um, so here, let's say part two training. And um, let's say prerequisites. If you are not on Google Colab, then you need uh, the environment setup uh, and the second step or the second prerequisite is the data pre-processing -pre step, which is um, which was covered uh, uh, before and you can find um, all the necessary steps in the, um, the first notebook. And then uh, we move on to uh, downloading the model from uh, TensorFlow 2 detection. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Model Zoo or Model Garden. Um, uh, here we we uh, we begin we by um, importing an, uh, essential libraries. Here we have. Uh, OS for operating system functionalities. We have RE for regular expressions, and we are also utilizing Google Colab Drive module for melting, melting our um, Google um, uh, Drive. Uh, we will uh, see see that in a bit, in a minute. Um, And here we define some constants like the random seed. You can put um, uh, whatever number you want. Uh, and then the batch size, we're going to put here uh, one. And uh, the, uh, the number of steps uh, the total number of steps. Um, uh, I'm gonna start with uh, uh, 21,000 um, and the number of evaluation steps will set up this, we'll set this to uh, uh, 1,000. So the current directory is um, can be uh, we assign uh, uh, the uh, the value of the uh, current directory to the variable current directory. We can get it from uh, os uh, dot get cwd function, and then we try to execute the code, the first and second block. We import some imports there, uh, and. Um, the uh, constants, and then uh, we uh, download the uh, our model, uh, faster RCNN um, ResNet one hundred one from the uh, model zoo. One, if it doesn't exist. So we follow the same approach. Basically, we check if the um, the um, the directory exists. If it exists, then ignore the download. And if it doesn't exist, we execute the download. So here we have to mount the Google Drive to be able to access the uh, the. Uh, Google Drive, 
uh, connect to Google Drive, select the account and then uh, allow access um, and CD to the, uh, the G Drive slash my drive and then um, download the faster RCNN um, ResNet 101. If it doesn't exist, so if not, a West path is uh, dear. We have current directory. Uh, faster RCN. We are all already. We are all. We 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 already are in the. Uh, uh, I am already in the. Uh, the. Uh, G drive slash my drive and I solution Coco seven uh, seventeen is the uh, uh, it's it's related to the uh, Coco dataset, the dataset where uh, on which the uh, the model was tested, and TPU eight basically it's um, it supports indica indicates that the model supports the TPU if we want to use TPU, but we're using here uh, GPU. So so here the uh, model tf2 detection zoo uh, page i'm going to use faster rcna resnet 101 copy the link address and then use the wget command um, to download the uh, compressed um, model it's a tar.gz uh, model and then once downloaded, we're going to unzip it. So unzip the uh, compressed file. So we're going to use the tar command dash xf. Uh, the file name and we're gonna clean up the uh, disk space by removing the uh, the GZ uh, the tar GZ file the compressed file after uh, decompressing it all right Now we uh, we have downloaded the model. Now we move on to uh, the next step, which is uh, generating labelmap.pbtxt. Uh, Here, just um, I've defined the just copy paste the classes um, um, from my um, model configuration or from my dataset configuration and uh, used a simple script to generate the labelmap.pbtxt.